This is the only dinosaur that has injured a T-Rex, the Triceratops. Contrary to popular belief, the T-Rex's true rival wasn't another meat-eating dinosaur like the Spinosaurus, but the herbivorous Triceratops with its three formidable horns and large protective frill. This massive dinosaur could easily defend itself against the powerful T-Rex. Quite surprising that too for a plant eater, isn't it? Join us as we journey back in time to witness this incredible face-off. Stay tuned to explore the world of these ancient titans and discover how the Triceratops managed to injure the mighty T-Rex. The Triceratops is practically an icon in paleontology, renowned for its imposing size and distinctive appearance. But here's a surprising twist. The Triceratops wasn't always known by that name. In 1887, a remarkable find shook up the paleontological world. A pair of brow horns unearthed in Colorado. These intriguing specimens eventually made their way to the esteemed Othniel Marsh, a pioneer in the field. However, Marsh made a bewildering conclusion. He thought these horns belonged to a mammal, specifically an ancient bison from the Pliocene era. Just a year later, Marsh made a groundbreaking discovery. Ceratops, the first horned dinosaur, marking a pivotal moment in paleontological history. Around the same time, a cowboy stumbled upon an enormous skull protruding from a ravine, which found its way to Marsh's desk. He promptly identified it as belonging to a new species of ceratops, but the plot thickened. Another year passed, and a stroke of luck struck again, a nearly intact skull identical to the one Marsh had designated as a new ceratops species was uncovered. The only difference? This skull boasted not one, not two, but three horns. Finally, Marsh realized that the new ceratops and his supposed bison were the same, a new genus of horned dinosaurs, and thus the Triceratops was born, its name forever immortalized as the three-horned face of the prehistoric world. Belonging to the Ceratopsia group, it was closer to Triceratops than to Psittacosaurus. Triceratops falls under the Ceratopsid family, and specifically, the Triceratopsini tribe, alongside its contemporary relative, Taurosaurus. But beyond classification, what captivated people were its colossal skull and distinctive horns. With new formations like Hell Creek, yielding numerous specimens, it became clear that there wasn't just one Triceratops species. Since the 19th century, over 15 species have been identified, although only two are recognized today, Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porcus. While both species may have looked similar from a distance, they had their nuances. Horridus typically had a longer snout and shorter nasal horn, whereas porcus exhibited the opposite. Despite these differences, both were massive creatures. The largest known specimen, nicknamed Big John, belonged to Horridus, giving them a slight edge. But in the grand scheme of things, both species were absolute giants. Adult Triceratops were among the largest non-sauropods of their time, stretching from 8 to 9 meters in length and weighing between 6 and 10 tons on average. Some enormous individuals could even tip the scales at 12 tons, surpassing the weight of a Tyrannosaurus. To put this into perspective, a 12-ton Triceratops would equal the weight of six average-sized cars, or 120 American men. That's massive. With its immense size, Triceratops found some safety in its environment, but living alongside the massive Tyrannosaurus meant size alone couldn't ensure survival. Consequently, Triceratops evolved robust defenses to thrive in the dinosaur era's challenges. Let's begin with its bones. While many Ceratopsians had sturdy builds, Triceratops surpassed them with bones thicker than your average dinosaur. Comparing a Triceratops femur to that of a vast African elephant, you'd notice the Triceratops bones were remarkably robust. This robustness protected against injury and benefited from its low-slung body, granting it a lower center of gravity for stability. Yet nothing quite matched the Triceratops' ultimate defense, its massive skull. You couldn't miss it. Triceratops had one of the most prominent heads of any terrestrial animal, with skulls measuring up to 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet long. A significant portion of its body length, this enormous head served multiple functions, including courtship displays and defense against predators. A vital feature of this colossal head was its widened frill, likely serving multiple purposes. It may have played a role in courtship, possibly colored for display while acting as a defensive barrier against predators. The frill, composed of fibrolamellar bone, 
protected the vulnerable neck area and could rapidly heal from damage, even regrowing within a short time. Its sheer size may have intimidated potential attackers, acting as a deterrent. But if intimidation didn't work, Triceratops had another ace, its iconic horns. These weapons were the stuff of legend, exceptionally sharp and long. The two horns above its eyes were impressive, measuring up to 1.15 meters long, equivalent to two stacked rhino horns. And here's the kicker. Most paleontologists believe these horns were covered in keratin sheaths, just like modern-day mammals, suggesting they were even more significant in life. Over the years, many theories about Triceratops horns have circulated, with the most popular suggesting they were for battling T-Rex. However, this claim is hotly debated. A more widely accepted idea is that these horns were primarily for combat, but not against theropods like T-Rex. Instead, Triceratops likely engaged in fierce battles with their kind over mating rights or territory. As studies show, combat was familiar among them. Examination of Triceratops skulls revealed that 14% had head injuries consistent with horn piercings indicating frequent combat. Despite their portrayal as peaceful herbivores, Triceratops could be formidable fighters with tough horns, and they occasionally used their weapons against their only known predator, the Tyrannosaurus. Evidence of predation exists, with some specimens showing damage consistent with T-Rex bites. However, contrary to popular belief, battles between these two giants were sometimes one-sided. Thus, Triceratops remains the only known dinosaur, or animal, to have injured a T-Rex based on fossil evidence. The dueling dinosaur's fossil is the most compelling evidence, featuring a juvenile T-Rex and an adult Triceratops locked in combat in death. Remarkably, the T-Rex bore the brunt of the damage, with shattered teeth, a broken finger and a cracked skull while the Triceratops only had a tooth lodged in it. Some argue that the Triceratops was the aggressor, though this is fiercely debated. Looking at potential Triceratops on T-Rex violence, there's a fascinating case involving a T-Rex named Dueling Rex. This 40-foot behemoth bears an intriguing hole in the back of its left femur, resembling a puncture wound. Some paleontologists speculate that a large Ceratopsian likely a Triceratops, delivered a sneak attack, ramming the T-Rex from behind as it stood up. Paleontologist Peter Dodson suggests that in a confrontation between a bull Triceratops and a T-Rex, the odds actually favored the Triceratops. Naturally, this viewpoint is met with skepticism, yet it's undeniable that Triceratops was a formidable opponent in its own right. Triceratops' terror factor increases when you peer into its mouth. Despite being an herbivore, its mouth held a surprisingly large number of teeth, arranged in dental batteries for shearing through thorny vegetation. In adults, these batteries could boast over 800 teeth at once, more than 25 times the number we humans have. Triceratops also sported a beak, likely used to strip leaves delicately. With its low-slung body, Triceratops likely feasted on various vegetation, including pads, ferns, and palms. It either grazed directly at ground level, or, when needed, used its massive body to force plants down. While this feeding strategy wasn't unique among large herbivores, Triceratops stood out. Its dominance within its ecosystem was unmatched, often comprising up to 69% of the total dinosaur population in specific ecosystems, like the Upper Hell Creek Formation. Triceratops skeletons make up 40% of all findings there a testament to its thriving existence during the late Cretaceous period. Given its dense population, one might assume that Triceratops was a social creature. However, most paleontologists believe it preferred its personal space. Unlike other horned dinosaurs found in large groups ranging from hundreds to thousands, Triceratops skeletons are typically isolated, indicating adults spent much of their lives alone. Yet, there are exceptions, like a group of five individuals found together suggesting some lived in family units or small groups, as evidenced by a site with three juveniles. Despite not forming large herds, the Triceratops was formidable, quickly holding its own in a world teeming with other dinosaurs. These included herbivores like Edmontosaurus, Taurosaurus, Anzu, Dracorex, Alamosaurus, and Struthiomimus. Predators like T-Rex, Echiroraptor, Dakotoraptor, and non-dinosaurs like Borealosuchus, Champsosaurus, and Brachychampsa also shared their environment. Additionally, there were turtles, mammals, fish, snakes, amphibians, insects, and pterosaurs. 
Triceratops thrived in lush subtropical forests with swamps, lakes, and rivers, offering abundant life. The famous Hell Creek Formation was its prime habitat, dating back 68 to 66 million years. Despite its dominance, Triceratops couldn't escape the KT extinction event, which wiped out both it and the T-Rex, finally ending their ancient feud. Interestingly, Triceratops may have been the last dinosaur standing with a specimen found just 13 centimeters above the KPG boundary, considered the youngest known dinosaur, a final testament to its enduring legacy. Which aspect of Triceratops fascinates you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe for more interesting prehistoric adventures. Thanks for watching.